Well, gee willikers, everybody, here we are again with Tormented Souls, inching towards the finale, I think. I've checked how long this game is on how long to beat. I always go overestimate because I talk and yammer a lot, and I'm also I'm bad at games. But, you know, the energy is there that we're getting towards the end, so it might be today, or tomorrow, or... Mm, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty soon. Anyway, uh, last time we... Uh, we finally entered the mausoleum, and that involved all sorts of spooky hijinks as we dicked around in the uh, ancient crypt and, like, parts of the sewers and everything. We learned a lot of, like, stuff that is starting to fill in a lot of blanks about what the hell was going on with the cult and everything. And also why, why there are not one but two evil grandpas in this story. One of them was the original cult leader, the other... The one who's still alive, Noah, is, uh... Well, I guess, yeah. Do we know if either of them are alive? Presumably, Noah is still alive, I think. Bertram is dead, but Noah's alive. He was supposed to be a sacrifice, but his twin died. They can't sacrifice just one twin. So he actually became a cult leader as well. Uh... And this is the last room of Anna, as far as we can tell. This is where Anna lived. She was kept in, in you know imprisoned here, as far as I can tell, uh, until her adult life was the vibe, like, you know, 20 years, not, no, sorry, 10 years, because she was 20 years old or something, and she, I, if I read correctly, if I understood correctly, she gouged out her own eyes so that her eyes couldn't be used to access the retinal scanner, which is, accesses some crazy vault where I, I think that's where the, the ritual sacrifice is going on. Hmm. Uh, there's this big mirror here we can use to enter the Dark World, and we're probably gonna have to do that. You know, maybe, like, make this safe work here, because the safe is busted. But I wanted to check out one thing before we go do that. First, let's go back to the sewer. A little bit of the our bearings here. Over there... Oh, oh hold on, which way are we supposed to go now? Well, over there, apparently, because we can't really go anywhere else, but... Yeah, over here is... No, over... I mean, over there, far away, that's where the vault is, which needs a retinal scanner with two people at the same time. I was making some speculation last time about what's going on. If we're to believe... And now I'll spell it out. I've given you guys a week to think about it. If we believe that Caroline is actually Emma, the, uh, the other twin who's grown up, Mm, then obviously she should be able to access this with, you know, one of the machines. We don't have Anna available, but I wonder if Emma's eye was removed so that you could have her look into both at the same time. Like the bad guy, which I guess isn't William, because William got killed. Um, but, you know, whoever, perhaps William, and, and now whoever... Noah or whatever, I don't know, whoever is the, like, doing stuff now is, was planning on, uh, using the, 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 using the, um, using, uh, Emma's eye and then Emma herself to, like, access the thing at the same time, so we don't actually need two twins to get in there. I don't know. But, uh, before we go there, this is interesting, I happen to actually... Okay, no ghosts, good. I happen to, by happenstance, I was like setting up some previous episodes to release on YouTube, and I noticed that we've been in this room. If we go over here, you'll find, here's this dead guy. So this door was locked when we first came here. This is the secret office basement in uh, William's office. I'm, I'm glad I looked at that uh, video by, by happenstance. Like, I just happened to check that part when I was setting up the video to release on YouTube. Because this saved a lot of backtracking. I was going to run all the way back here, actually. Um, yep, there's William, still dead. My, my plan was to go back to the children's room just to see if this television dial we have now... Okay. No ghosties here, because the music didn't do the ghosty thing. Here we are. There's this weird wall thing here, which says that something could fit in this slot, and I still haven't figured out what it could be, but maybe this doesn't fit. Okay. 
But you have to admit that this this uh, shortcut we found here. Oh boy. Oh, oh. No, not that way. Uh, this way. Ooh, why did it have the spawn over there? Yeah, yeah, but that shortcut saved me a lot of time. I was actually planning on starting the episode in the kids' room just to save a little bit of time with all of you folks in the running back and forth. But now I was actually feeling okay to just start in the sewers. This was not a long trip, thank this uh, shortcut we found. So, phew! Although that, that ghosty ghost there made life a little trickier. Okay, no music cue from the ghost. All good. So, yeah, now we got nothing else to do, really. Let's go Dark World spelunking, shall we? And try to figure out what to do in, in, in that nightmare space to further the plot. Because once again, like, I think I've exhausted everything. We, we, I was pretty damn thorough sticking around here in the mausoleum and the sewers. Oh, I should also mention I found that weird bunker where we found this thing, the antidote. Syringe filled with blue liquid. It kindly says antidote for the item. Like, I'm still kind of leaning that this might be kind of a Silent Hill 1 situation with the, with the red liquid thing that you find in that... Aglothropus might have been the crazy word that they say at one point. Eh. Uh. Oh man, I've gone through so many nails. Oh no. Uh, yeah, I, I I don't know. I just somehow I'm just like pinging that that might be like some kind of uh, secret ending thingy, you know, or you know, the different endings. It it's uh, also you know a staple of this genre as well, multiple endings, you know. Eh. But uh, we'll figure it out. Oh, by the way, let's get ready for a jump scare. Will they do it again? No, they're not. And also, that's not a very dark world, what we're looking at in there. In fact, that looks... Doesn't even look like the room we're about to enter. Of course, it is a parallel world, so, you know, but that's not at all what I expected. Curious. Yeah, we got this antidote, and we also did, like, the crazy puzzle, and a really tough fight, too. Well, I say tough fight. We got lucky and killed the one of the two big lads, like, right away. You know, that turned out super nice. Caroline's what? bedroom. Is this my room? But this is hundreds of miles away from the mansion. Oh. How can this be possible? That, that is super weird. Looking at the map does nothing, because we just got the map of the hospital mansion, good times land. It's my closet. I don't feel like changing right now. All right. It's a bright day outside. I really want to break that big mirror behind me and escape through this window, but I can't. There's something that just won't let me. You know what? That would kind of be like non-standard game over, is just escape right out of here by uh, using the mirror. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, creepy! Caroline has a twin doll in her room as well? Why would you do that? It's so weird. An old CRT television. Groovy. Well, as it turns out, we have a dial. Which I'm pretty sure it mentions it's an old television dial, so let's just pop this in. I wonder if this affects... Because, you know, when you do stuff in the dark world, it affects the real world. And there's a safe roughly at this point of the room in the in in in, in the real world in, in in Anna's prison chamber. So I wonder if the rules still are in effect even though we're not really in a dark world. Like we do this and then we're going to be able to access the safe. Lovely music here. Okay, I think I have an idea of what to do here, but I'm gonna go back to the real world to look at. Well, first I'm gonna check this door. 
just for funsies, but I suspect... I can't leave until I learn more about the girls from the photo. Yeah, okay, so it's not even locked, but we can't use it anyway. Oh, and also this, come on, this is this very obvious diary here I was leaving last. This is my diary. It happened again last night. I had that nightmare. The one where I fall into the void, squeeze my eyes tight, and an icy cold hits my back. When I finally open my eyes, I see dirty water running through stone channels and pipes leading down endless tunnels with arched ceilings. That kind of sounds like where we've been digging around. I see shadowy human silhouettes and misshapen heads projected onto moldy walls. A man in a radioactive suit grabs my arm and, with a guttural roar, yells, Let the ritual begin! I wake up in a fetid sweat, take the sheets off my body and put my feet on the floor, only to discover that it too is wet. I turn on the lamp to find a room not my own. The wall's dirty, and the window that faces the street now the mouth of a dark tunnel where sewage flows. I get up numb. A stream of putrid cold air hits me, and when I look at my reflection in the mirror, I see myself but dressed in rags, my hair dirty and matted, confused and scared. It is me, or so it seems, but there's something in her eyes that I do not recognize. The person on the other side of the mirror stretches out her arms and grabs me by the neck. You left us here! I wake up back in my room. The light from the street lamps enters through the window, silhouetting the leaves of the plants. I slowly remove my hands from my neck and the TV turns on. I pinch myself to make sure that this time I am awake. The tile turns to the right and at the times to the left, the TV showing seemingly random images, but always the same. So that sounds like a psychic connection thingy between Caroline and Anna. Because I remember reading Anna's diary. There's one where she has a dream where she's living a nice life and she wants to strangle this, like, other version of her. So I didn't even think about that when we, uh, when I was reading that originally. Let's see. This is the earliest, this is the newest one where Grandfather Noah popped in and it's like 1994. So I imagine, yeah, Noah must be alive and probably is the one that killed William, but, uh... Yeah. Anyway, here's the one. I dream at night. In a beautiful balcony full of plants and flowers. Gorgeous green wallpaper, lavender, big mirror. And she sees herself, but it's like a clean version of herself. And then she gets angry and... She goes in. I can't find a quote here. You left us here. But definitely this is that she goes to, to, uh... Yeah, she goes to strangle the person in the mirror. So yeah, let's see. Green walls, lavender sheets, yeah, yeah, that seems to all add up, yeah. Alright, let's have a quick look. Although I suspect what we gotta do is we gotta play with that television, yeah? Because this probably... Nothing has changed here, yep. But here's the thing. I gotcha. I know, I know, I shouldn't be bragging here because some of the puzzles, as we know, have gotten me. But this one's a pretty simple one, so I got this. And this does indeed connect to the safe, for sure. I'm, I'm now 100% convinced of that. Let's go back to Anna's diary. The code is... 28436. Apparently going right... Probably two right, eight left, four, three, six. All right. Two, eight, four, three, six. Why don't I write that down also on a paper so I remember? Two, eight, four, three, six. Yeah, I don't think I didn't notice that there are, in fact, objects with like certain numbers on the TV. So let's go right to two. You know, a spider, you associate with the number eight. A tricycle with the number three, yeah. And there we go, yin-yang, duality, number two. So let's go now back to... Eight. Now we gotta get to the number four back on the right, if this is how, uh... 
God, this music is unfortunate. <laughs> is indeed how uh, safes work. I've never really understood how safes work. I have used, I'm pretty sure. But four-leaf clover, got it. Now go back to the tricycle. There you are, tricycle. And then a little bit more, and there's that six-sided die right there. Ooh. Well, it should have been here, the six-sided die, but instead it's the... Oh, oof, oof. Jesus, okay. I was about to make a joke. It's that tunnel from Snake Eater that you climb up onto the mountain, but then it decided to jump scare me, which I probably should have been ready for. A necklace with a sun design. Okie doke. Well, now I destroyed my own TV. Great. Nothing else to do here. This wasn't very smart of me, now was it? And the safe is open. Well, well, well. Oh, there's another one. Hold on. A necklace with a moon design. I'm glad I came to look here. I, I kind of thought that we just got the item from the television, but okay. And now I know what to do. Finally, finally, obviously. Now we go, not this way. <laughs> now we go to the children's. No, wait, yes, this way. Damn this sewer! Now, I don't know 100% the order in which to do the things, but yes, we're going back to the children's room, and now we're going to that safe. Ooh. Just avoiding the spooky monsters. Okay, no. It's cheap, but I kind of just want to do that if the spooky lady is here, you know. Look, I'm not doing so hot in terms of supplies, so... I might as well make my life easy when, uh... It's time to rumble with that ghost, yeah? Well, just might as well just skip out, y'all. Yeah? Ah! Yeah, for example, here, I'm just gonna do this just in case. Oh, this thing is really after me this time. Probably could have ran here this time, but you know, uh, no, why, 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 why? Sun and moon duality, very uh, appropriate as well. Now, do we combine these and stick them, or just one one by one stick them in? I wonder. Nice, you in fact stick them together. A necklace combining the sun and moon. They appear to be having a really good time here. Ah. Uh. Doesn't feel so bad. This fucking sucks! Eclipse necklace, oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, it makes super a lot of sense now that that shortcut is there. Now that it's like mandatory to come here. It would be such a pain to run through all the way through the mausoleum to get back here, so. Another secret passage. Oh. So many mysteries in this house. Oh. Ooh, I got a got an achievement. Find your old hiding place. Your old hiding place, huh? Steam achievement spoiling a little bit, but we've already worked it out, so. Ugh. Flashbacks! <laughs> oh, my, head. Oh. Oh, my head! What is this? I know this song. I know it. It's the song my sister and I used to listen to when we were children. My sister. My sister Anna. Yeah, here we go. Uh, is it really a spoiler? I think it was very much telegraphed as we went through the plot. I don't know. I, I, I bet m most of you watching probably figured it out before I did. Like, I, when, when did I start to come on to that idea? Was it the time when we actually ran into Anna in, in, the, in the time travel trip? Was that the point where I was like, wait a second, these two sure look alike? Hmm. I remember... I am Emma. 
The girl who fell from the bridge 14 years ago. There we go. All this time, I've kept the traumatic memories hidden inside my head. But this song has set them free. Anna, you have been alone in the dark this whole time. It's pretty brutal, yeah. I don't know if you are still there, but I promise I will do everything in my power to find you. It's time to find out what's behind the vault door in the sewers. Oh, dramatic. I don't know how we're going to do that, but we'll figure it out. We spent a lot of time playing with this dollhouse. <gasps> Ooh, we got an achievement for collecting all of Anna's diary entries. Here's the very first one. Mother told us to stay away, but we didn't listen. We decided to investigate the forest next to the main garden. We were curious, but when we heard the hitting and screaming sounds, I got scared and asked Emma to go back to the house. She insisted on seeing where the noises were coming from. She went ahead, and I followed. Within a glade, we discovered three men in full-body outfits. They stood under huge rocks carved with symbols, and were using hammers to hit a large red-stained bag, which seemed to writhe. One of them poured some liquid over the bag, and they set it on fire. The bag started to move with more force. I got scared and snapped the twig I was holding. The men looked in our direction and pointed toward us. I took Emma by the wrist and ran. We broke through thorny bushes, all the time listening to the men's fading shouts. Finally, we made it to the mansion, but the pretty dresses mother had made were ruined. Oh yeah, and there was that story about it, it happening. Uh, you know, there was in, in, in um, Maria's diary, there was a story about, uh, about the... Um, about them showing up with their dresses all destroyed. Yeah. A metal fishing hook with a sharp point. What? A metal fishing hook with a sharp point? What the heck am I supposed to do with this? Obviously, I gotta use it for something. This is the big setup, but uh, what? I... I'm very confused. Anyway, you know, I just now realized the mystery of also where that photo came from. Well, okay. The photograph of uh, the two young twins when they were, you know, 10 years old. The one that spurred Caroline slash Emma to show up here. Oh. Okay, well, that's fortunate that something's changed and William is gone. That's kind of creepy. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, I, I, of course, the obvious answer probably is it was either William or Noah who wanted to set up to have Emma come here to allow the vault to be accessed by using this lure of the photo, yeah? That's probably what's going on here. Another tape? But, but I think that's what that is? Yeah. Dentist room, 110694. So that's, that's not very old at all. Um, well, this experiment room's old, 1980. Yeah, that's when the, that's where, that's where we found Anna. Um, but, uh, this is 11.06.94. Well, let's go to the viewing room. Uh, oh, boy. Who made it? Notice they, once again, like, pretty smart level design here. Like, this is pretty close, again, the projector, so we don't have to, like, hoof the entire mansion to get here to be able to use this item. Anyway, this was 1105 with the chapel, so this exper- no, sorry, this, this dentist room tape is a day later. Uh -huh. Alright. Take that, yet. Yeah. So, day later. Something going on in the dentist room. I remember the dentist room, sorta. 
that was early in the game. One of the rooms we used to collect items to... I think we got the, one of the halves of the plastic heart was what we got there. I, I think, methinks. Roll the tape. Let's find out what's going on in the dentist room then. Ooh, this... Looks like something's gone wrong with this dentistry, I feel like. I don't remember if this guy was there. This body appears to have been operated on multiple times. It doesn't even look human anymore. Who is doing this? I mean, this is hardly the first guy like this we've found, so I don't know why she's that shocked. Who would perch all this stuff in front of the door? That's the, my question. How is anyone supposed to get in here? No healing items to collect as a time paradox. Oh! Wait a second, has that closet always been there? Oh, right, it connects to the East Wing Corridor, which is... Which it was broken before, like there was a big hole in the ground, so we couldn't access it from there. Hmm. X-ray images. Whoa, what's the... what the head? What is it again? Oh, it just says help. The, the the tools arrayed there spells out help. It's a little weird, but sure. Yeah, looks like we are going to that corridor then. They hadn't blown it up yet. Like a few weeks ago. Boy, I'm super glad that button was conveniently revealed there to reveal that tape. I If we had just supposed to use the fishing hook somewhere in the rest of the map, I would have had no clue where to go, you know? So I'm like, oh. Just gonna play it? Cool. Um, um, um. Oh, is that the way blocked off over there? Yes, it is, but there's a diary here. Oh, this is the final William diary. We got all of William's diaries. We got Chivo for that as well. Let's see what this says. So, yeah, this one was a little bit later, which... 16 December 94, where, where William went to the restroom and found that uh, the subject had escaped. And then he's all... And he heals up Maria but then realizes, you know, that she dies from the healing, and then he realizes, whoopsie, someone's poisoned my wine, and that's why William is dead. But let's see what happened before that. 12th December, so just a couple of days. Late last night, someone broke into the mansion. A young and reckless woman. I do not know what brought her here, nor do I care. I hit her over the head with a lead pipe, which I admit was unwise. Had I hit her much harder, she would not have survived, and a potential test subject would have been wasted. By the way, that was 12th December when that happened, so about a month after this tape that we're now um, time traveling in. Well, you know, it's, it's December 6th. I, I think if the order is like American order, where it's month, day. Actually, I, I was just defaulting it. It's the American order. It might be actually, huh. Might actually be the 11th of June, but I feel like it's probably November, because a lot of stuff has been happening in November and December in this story. But anyway. She is now unconscious with assisted ventilation. Once she has stabilized, I will inject her with Maria's blood. I am close to finding the cure. Wait for me, Maria. Just a little longer. Oh, so there wasn't anything, like, deeper. There wasn't anything deeper with the, like kidnapping and stabbing she was uh, emma slash caroline was just another test subject for william and the monsters apparently are creations by injecting maria's blood into like unlucky people in a search for an antidote like i guess okay i have finally created an antidote that works it eliminates the sickness in just a few seconds and the subject returns to its natural state Due to the damage inflicted on the body because of the sickness, however, the subject will inevitably die of multi-system failure after mere moments. After 14 years of research, this is the best that I can do. At last, I will be able to bid you farewell. 
I hope that in a few seconds of clarity the cure will provide, you will be able to tell me who did this to you, and what happened to our girls. So William didn't really know about the cult then. He had he 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 did not know why why Maria had got sick. He just was just happened to be a mad scientist and started to do like his you know in search for a cure. Okay. So he really he's the like lesser evil, but he's still pretty evil, you know. Pretty well past morally ambiguous, but yeah, he's pretty tragic in that sense. Well, he did know about the cult when he s he snuck in as a little kid, but I bet he probably thought, oh, that was just a childhood like nightmare or something when he grew up, and that's he probably had no idea that that shit was still going on right under his nose with uh, Bertram and Noah. Yeah. I will test the antidote for the last time on a subject that I have been keeping in the restroom on assisted ventilation. First, I must inject her with Maria's blood and wait for the sickness to spread. I must have patience. I have waited so long for this. I can wait a little longer. Wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Have we been... Or do we have Maria's blood and we have the sickness? Is it supposed to spread on us? Oh, no. Oh... The antidote, I wonder if it's supposed to be for ourself then. Like, if we didn't have the antidote, we'd have, like, a really tragic end of the game where we turn into a ghoul. But now we got it in our pocket and we gotta save ourselves. Interesting. At first I was thinking that what happened was that, uh, you know... Uh, Caroline was the key to making the antidote because she's related to Maria, so, like, that's how William, like, found, cracked the code or something. Maybe not. I can't tell. Also, really cool. You always love it when at near the end of a game you come back to where it all started. So that's really clever. 